sometime in the late 80s, we played a three-nighter gig, four-nighter gig, that's right, four-nighter gig, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, in Langford at a hotel. I don't remember the name of the hotel. It could have been the Langford Hotel. Who knows? There was a pub. And uh, we got there on Wednesday night, and we played. And partway through the night, they gave us a cassette tape. They said, here, tomorrow night you play the Limbo Rock. And somebody in the band said, once? And they said, yes, for two hours. So that's what we had to do on Thursday night, starting for the Limbo Contest. A bunch of people lined up like in a conga row, conga dance one by one under the limbo pole, around and around in a circle while we go. And we play the limbo rock, and people go under the bar, and they gradually lower the bar. As the two hours go by, we already planned this in advance. We start playing it in different keys. And we, you know, I don't... I guess we sang it too, but we just played it in every key we could. All the sharps and the flats, everything, we just played it in every key. Didn't No minor keys, mind you. But then that was the gig. Two hours of the limbo rock. And when we were finished, the drummer was pissed. He was so mad. He didn't want to do it in the first place. And there we were. That was the gig. Road story number 10.